Welcome to the case summary for Levine versus Blumenthal on forlawnotes.com. This was a tenant landlord case where the defendants rented the property from the plaintiff for two years. The first year, the defendant would pay a, rent, a monthly rental of $175 per month. The second year would pay $200 per month. But after the first year, the defendant told the plaintiff that he would not be able to pay the increased amount for the second year. So the plaintiff went ahead and accepted the lower monthly rent because the defendant's business was bad. But the defendant broke the lease and left without paying the last month's rent. So the plaintiff brought this action against the defendant to collect the last month's rent as well as the difference between the $175 per month for the second year that was paid and the $200 per month that was owed for the second year. So the issue is whether the plaintiff, by agreeing to accept the lower rent the second year, had actually formed a new contract with the defendant stipulating the reduced rent. So the court held that the plaintiff did not form a new contract simply by accepting the reduced rent. Um, for the second year because it was not supported by consideration. A person, a party can't promise to do what they're already legally bound to do and call it consideration. And the court further clarified that even in circumstances of general economic adversity, no matter how disastrous it can be to individual consequences, it's never a warrant for judicial abrogation of this primary principle of the law of contracts. That it, contracts require offer, acceptance, and consideration. And that concludes this case summary for Levine versus Blumenthal on 4lawnotes.com.